So my name is Zinka Kenny. I, I need no introduction. So uh, the, the theme for today is uh, my health, my rights. I'm passionate about anything called the feminine gender. And first of all, I want to change. I want to you know say something. The narrative is changing now. I keep hearing this thing: women don't support women. Women don't support women. I don't know the category of women you belong to in the 21st century. In this 21st century, I belong to category of women that has taken me to places. So I want to believe that the narrative is changing. Yes. Are we doing enough? No. Are we trying? Yes. Are we there? No. Are we getting there? Yes. We will get there someday with hard work. We will. Do you agree with me? Don't be limited by your limitation. When it comes to your health, please take a grab of your health. When the chiefs are down, any other person will sympathize with you or they will rejoice with you. I see a lot of women. You have done CS1, you have done CS2, you have done CS3. Because the man wants one million children, you are still doing CS1 million. Please take a hold of your life. If you die, he will leave. If you die, he will pick another woman. So you have to take a hold of your life, of your health. A lot of women, they have health challenges. But most times you want to carry it and put it aside and begin to carry husband and carry children. I tell you, these children are calling mommy, mommy, mommy because you are alive. If you are dead, they will live their life. That's what my people will say. Come on, please do not let us be limited by any limitations that is around us. Whatever you do, tell yourself, I come first. All of this hanging around me. They are hanging around me because I'm still alive. If I am no more alive, they will live. They will survive without me. Beautiful women, tell yourself, I'm going to make myself beautiful, both inside and outside. A lot of people say, tell me, Kenny, you are beautiful. Why can't you are this, you are that? Because I have learned to take one day at a time. I, I hardly... My, the most makeup I do is lipstick. If you see, I don't have an eye pencil, I don't have, except I'm going on air. But you need to look at me closely to know that I have only lipstick on me. Because I have decided to derive happiness from within me. I don't brood over things for long. It has happened. Okay, what's the next? I stand up and I move on. What do I do next? The problem with most women is that we sit down and we keep brooding and brooding and brooding about it. Just pick up the pieces of your life and take the next action and move on. Whatever you derive happiness from, please do it. Make yourself happy. Have fun. You can me. I can play music in my room and be dancing. Please make sure that your happiness is utmost. That is what will help your health number one. Today we are talking about my health, my right. Take your health in your own hands and be deliberate, be intentional about taking care of you. Not only medically, socially, psychologically. Go party, go to the beach, go and do things that you know, have fun for yourself. You don't need a man to go clubbing. You can just go out and just go and sit in one lounge and make yourself happy. Don't allow your world to revolve around your husband or your children. You are a woman and you are a person of yourself. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.